So today we have the ripper tooth and the micro trenching bucket and we're going to be going into what they should be used for and what they shouldn't be used for because in many situations people use these incorrectly. So continue watching to find out more. So the differences between these two attachments are we've got the ripper tooth, it's a heavy duty reinforced steel with a replaceable cat tip. This is designed for breaking up and cutting through stubborn and aggressive materials. Whereas we have the micro trenching bucket that's designed to actually work for cutting a narrow trench through soils or a sidewalk where you've got cutouts on the sides to release the material and actually mean that reinstatement can be kept to a bare minimum. So what do you use a ripper tooth for? A ripper tooth, as I said earlier, is actually designed for breaking up stubborn and hard grounds where you might have a section of chalk or concrete or where you've got a tree root that you're, that's really stubborn and you're trying to remove it. And so because it's got the hardened steel shank and it's got the cast tip on the end, it means that you can really, really work against the stubborn item and break it out. And we particularly recommend this rather than using a standard bucket tooth. In many situations we see where a customer has used a standard bucket tooth on a digging bucket to lever out something that's sitting in the ground and what will invariably happen is that you bend the lip plate or you twist the bucket. So we particularly recommend the ripper tooth where there's stubborn or aggressive or hard material that you need to break out of the ground. So the micro trenching bucket, what is this used for? This isn't used for a couple of different situations. Number one, landscaping and number two, utilities. So landscaping. That is used in people's back gardens or a golf course where you've got to put water pipes or irrigation across a long distance and then you can dig a very narrow slot and it means that you can dig the trench in half the time and then the reinstatement takes half the time as well. So a big time saver right across the board. The other side is where it's used is in sidewalks and pathways where utility customers have to dig a trench to put fibre optics in. This is where the bucket originally came from and then it's been used in different situations to become much more effective at digging a narrow trench in a very short space of time. What it's not used for, as I've already said before, is for ripping up hard material, which is what we recommend the ripper tooth for. The reason for this, it's made from thinner material so that you have the slot that can take the earth or the material that you're trying to take out. And so if you were to use that for ripping, it would buckle and maybe wear down a lot faster than using the heavy duty ripper tooth. Now you know the difference between a ripper tooth and a micro trenching bucket, why don't you follow us here so that you can see some of our other videos and then you never miss another upload from us.